Hey, Phone Sites, back again with some more uh, fun, hot stuff for you. So this time around, we're going to show you how to add the background image to your page and then that cool little uh, text box that we saw Stuman post about the other day. Now, what's nice about this is that it can really jazz up your page. Uh, a few important things to remember, though. Obviously, the more you do to your page, uh, the longer it could potentially take to load. If you're not careful where you host the background image or pull the background image from, if that page happens to disappear or not be secure, it can cause issues with uh, loading up in the phone sites page itself. So kind of be careful about where you host the images. Really, your best bet is to upload them to your phone sites stash page and then use the image uh, URL that pulls when you load it up on the page itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the script, where to place it, and then kind of give you a walkthrough on how to set that up and make sure everything is going correctly in your page. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here in the design. And what you're going to see when you load this page up is this is the script that we're going to use. Now, again, it's important to remember that this script isn't perfect. And sometimes the images don't load correctly, depending on the size of the image from the page. So check it on your desktop, check it on your cell phone. Uh, it's not always going to look the same for every image and every browser. And hopefully someday Jordan can step in and help us find a script that will really make this uh, look right for every image, but it could be a little while because I know he's a busy guy. So this is what we've been using and it has worked for us in the past. So I'm going to share it with you guys and hopefully somebody can find some use with it. So this is the script we use. Now you see right here, I have it typed out that says style. It's important to remember that when you add this into your settings tab, there's going to be some uh, brackets that you need to use to make sure that this works appropriately. So where you see style on that first page, make sure you're adding the brackets on the end and then end brackets here like you would with any of your normal HTML type stuff because you want to end this style script. This is going to create the box. This second style script here, this is going to put the background image. So if you want to add the box but not the image, image without the box, vice versa, you'll know which script that you want to use. Now, the important thing is the image itself. This is the URL. So what I did is I pulled up an image here on Sabay, and I'm going to show you guys how to pull an image URL so that you can load it right into the funnel. Now, again, remember that if this uh, image was to be moved or changed or something didn't work right with it, uh, it wouldn't load up in your funnel. So you have to be very careful about how you do that. So the first thing you can do, you right click and you want to open image in a new tab. What that does is it goes a direct URL to the image right here. So you can take this URL, you can copy it, you can put it right here in this section. Like so. Make sure you have the little quotes on the end. Hit save. And then let's do a quick preview. All right, so you can see where it's added that image to the background of the page and then added this cool little black box. Uh, now remember, you don't have to use the box. It's important to do know that you'll want to make sure it looks correct as far as with your text and your coloring. Now, maybe you want this box to be a little bit lighter or a little bit darker. Uh, if you go back to your settings tab, to adjust the box opacity, I think is what you would technically call that, uh, you adjust this section right here. So 0.5 is kind of midway. I believe if you go to 0.9, it should be pretty dark. If you do a 1, that is the darkest that's available. But let's do a 0.9 and make sure I'm on the right track here. Okay, looks a little bit different. Let's try point one. Maybe I went the wrong direction, but either way, I know that's where you would adjust it. Maybe I'm wrong. It doesn't seem to be adjusting very much here.
Well, it doesn't seem to be adjusting here for some reason, but I'm pretty positive that by altering this, it will change the information in there. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I know why it's not changing. It's because I'm in the wrong tab. Hold on, guys. This is why you should rehearse these things before you film videos, Drew, but you'd get it right the first time. All right, so we need to adjust that in the settings tab. You see the 0.5 there. Uh, if you make that 0.9... Now we should see that it has changed the opacity of that box. All right, maybe. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, so you can see how the box is a lot darker now. Uh, so you can kind of mess with that, whatever's going to look good on your page, and you know, kind of play around, see what works the best for you. Now, I talked about hosting the image directly from phone sites versus having a URL of its choosing. So what I'm going to do is show you how to pull that, that image URL from phone sites and where to paste that at. So let's just do add a new block image. Let's click on an image that we've already had loaded up in here. So let's do this one of the Toledo Mud Hen Stadium. If you ever get a chance, definitely visit that stadium. Fifth Third uh, Field is awesome. So let's see. So here's a URL. So anytime I upload an image to phone sites, it's going to create this, this storage URL for me. So if I want, I can copy that, go into my settings here, and put that in the URL section. And make sure to leave the quotes in there. That's an important part of the script as far as getting it correct to run. So paste, save. Now let me go back here. And what I want to do is I want to take out this image box so you won't see it. I'm going to correct this script text for you while I'm thinking about it. And then let's go back into the settings. Let's adjust this back down to 0.5 again so it's kind of mid opacity. And let's take a look and see if this has moved over to the new background. Shazam! So, uh, adding a background image to your page. Again, it's important to remember that images aren't always going to look the same with every browser that loads up. Uh, so, take a look through that. Make sure the images that you're using look good on multiple different locations. And if you have any questions, reach out to me or the Mobile Funnels team, and we'll be happy to help you. Hope you guys have a great night.